right then, you bunch of scallywags. I think it's about time that I get, uh, I've got this mower out and had a quick look at it because, um, well, the last time I used it was in the summer uh, and it, I don't do a lot of work with it um, but it's quite an old one from the 80s as I'm sure a lot of you will know um, just going by, you know, you know what it is, you know, it's a lovely old lawn boy so um, I think it's about time I sort of got it out, you know, the summer's on its way, the summer's coming now, isn't it? So I thought it would be a good time now to sort of get that out and just have a look. See, because uh, I, I think it was running slightly um, too rich last summer. Uh, so I might have a look at that. I, I think, I don't think it's a float. I think the float's all right. Because I bought, when I bought this, I bought this off a bloke. Um, it turns out he watches my videos. If you're still watching there, dude, I bought this from, uh, hello. I uh, hope you're well. But anyway, and he said it was running rich and he reckoned it was to float. So I took all the carb apart and cleaned it out, if you lot remember. And I don't think that that's the trouble now, but we'll have a look anyway. So, really, I suppose the first thing to be doing, fold the old handles up. I've got a lot of room here at the moment. Let's get rid of these pieces. Right. It's quite a big old mower, this one. Quite big, uh... Well, I don't know if these were industrial or not. I don't think these were industrial, were they? These, um... What are they? 46... 51, I think, this one is. Um... I don't think it was industrial, but they're bloody well made, I'll tell you that. You know, everything's metal, and they're very big. Key still works. Primer still works on the old handle there. Fuel open, there we go. Let's open that up. We've got pet roll in there. There's some pet rolls in there. There's pet rolls in there, my friends. Woo! Let's see, we got any, have we got any juice? Um, what I might have to do is I might have to get the old air compressor out and blow all the grass and dirt off but we'll have a look we'll see if it's going to fire up turn the old key on give it a few primes the primer's on the handle there for those of you that were wondering um, it seems to be alright still whether it actually does any priming I don't know but we'll keep We'll keep, uh, we'll keep pushing it and see what happens. Is it going to go? Who knows? Last time I started, remember when I, who remembers when I started this up and it sucked the carpet up and started chopping the carpet up? <laughs> Mental. inhalation
runs quite well considering it's sat in a bloody storage shed for I don't know six months or so I don't know how long it's sat there for a long time though in the winter you know it even got out of mouse mouses all around it and everything so I think it ran quite well for those of you that are gonna say it sounded like it was running fast it eyed it on the high on the high on the full throttle I forgot about that the throttle is underneath there well where's it there it is under there on top of the air filter, there's a little lever. You've got a t uh, hair speed and tortoise speed. The handle's broken off of it. You should see it poking out, but it snapped off. It was like it when I bought it. And I have the low, I have the tortoise speed set to a nice low speed, you know, just for cutting light grass. And then I have the hair throttle, the hair speed. I set, I turned it up a bit. There's a little, there's a little thing you can turn it up. It's got like the sail throttle, whatever you call it. I forget what it's called now. I turned that up a bit because I was cutting some really thick wet grass um, long grass and it was a bit damp last summer believe it or not I know how can it be damp when it was that hot I don't know but it was so I set the old throttle up and that got through that no trouble at all on that high throttle so that's why I got it like that it was running a bit fast I know it was anyway let's get the old compressor and blow all the dirt off it Fucking noisy that compressor, isn't it? I know I got the tumble dryer on, I've got it on just to piss you off. Anyway, I've got here some elbow grease. It's good old degreaser, this stuff, this elbow grease. It works quite well, and uh, oh, might as well use that, I suppose. Give it a bit of a clean. Why not? Get some of the grease off and the oil off. I reckon it'll be nice. I like to treat stuff quite well, you know. People always take the mickey out of me. They always go, why are you keeping, why are you looking after that? It's a working thing. It's supposed to be not looked after. I say, you're a cock. You've got to look after everything. Don't take anything for granted. Look after everything, have respect for everything. That's my view, like, you know. Whether it's yours or not. This is mine, obviously. But even if something ain't yours. And what I've done, I've left the fuel, I've left the, uh, you can probably see it about there, look. I've left the, um, the fuel on, because I want to see if it's going to leak out. Because, uh, I think it did have trouble with the float at one point, and I fixed it. So I want to see if it's still, if it's doing it again, because that float might have got stuck, you know. I sat in a shed somewhere for all of the end of summer and look at all that dirt, eh? For all of the end of summer, that's sat in a shed, right? So I just want to see if it's going to leak out. Might, might not. I hope it don't. Because I'm going to have to take it apart and get it unstuck and clean it again if it does. I think this summer, not that I've got anywhere to keep it, but I think this summer I'm going to be after some more lawn boys. Um, I do want to expand my very small collection because I do like the old lawn boys. I'll we'll turn that off because it's probably pissing you off too much. The old compressor's leaking as well. That sorted that out. Oh, that means I better turn the radio off you now. Otherwise, I'm going to get another copyright. Get bloody copyrights all over the place now. Do you know, some cock, right, put a copyright claim against one of my videos because the music on it, they claimed it was theirs. But it weren't theirs. So I disputed it and I won. There's a lot of um, fake claimers out there. Uh, so you got to watch out. But I think I'm going to be after some more lawn boys uh, this summer. They're bloody hard to come by. 
The bloke I bought this from reckons he's, he, had, he had a lot of them, he showed me them. And he's got videos on his channel, but I can't remember what his channel is now. Um, but he reckons that they're easy to get hold of, but I don't know where the bloody hell he gets hold of them, right? Like. They don't sell them in this country. The American thing from the American lot, isn't it? Where you all go. Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's what you all do over there, isn't it, in America? I tell you, I don't know why you sort of spreading over here now. This bloody English English YouTubers going. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be looking at this. Oh, for goodness sake. What's it all about? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay now, dude. Hi right, you lot, it's been about eight years since I started filming this video. Just, I went to get some soup and I didn't ever come back. But anyway, I've cleaned up the mow, it's very nice. One of the things I do want to try and clean up on it, well, I'm not going to be able to do that, I've got a hole in it there. Um, it needs fixing really, it's the grass bag thing. Um, I did, I've really tried to find a new bag to put on this frame, but the only bags I can find, they're like, well they're shit, they're not, I don't think they're even genuine lawn boy. Uh, they're not like this material, it's quite thick, nice material with a plastic thing that went in there once. Um, but I can't find any like that and it didn't have the plastic thing at the bottom there. They're just literally like a bag. I don't want that. I want a proper one. So if I can find a proper Lawn Boy bag thingy to go on this frame, I'll be over the moon. So that's one of the things I really want to try and do. I've cleaned up the mower very nice. Um, I'm going to sharpen the blade on it at some point. Not yet though. I've had the fuel. The fuel has been on the whole time. The whole week that it's sat here. So I'm going to go and take it back to the storage shed. And then I'll have a job for it. But I'm going to sharpen the blade. So there'll be another video coming up. I'm going to take the blade off and give that a bit of a sharpen. But yeah. Mate. I only wanted to spend half an hour on it. It's been here a whole week. Thanks for watching though you lot. Catch you on the next one. Pissing down outside. Which is a shame. Because I wanted to cut the grass.